Now, the next level up is the NeuroDuo 4, which is a natural extension into full brain coverage, which you would want if you have history of concussions, traumatic brain injury, or concerns about mild cognitive impairment as a precursor to developing dementia. The ND4 has five transcranial LEDs that shine red light through your skull and one intranasal cannula. I would call this their current flagship mid-level device because it's great for protecting your brain from damage over long term, and it has the alpha gamma settings for different neuromodulation effects. As we said, alpha is typically associated with relaxation, stress reduction, and improved sleep, whereas gamma has been studied more closely with improving memory, cognitive enhancement, and is being used currently in all Alzheimer's research. So you have the dual stimulation between the red light getting through your skull and through your nasal cavity, which gives you a more broad coverage than what the MIP 655A10 does. There's research showing that the broader brain coverage shows improvement in brain network connectivity through fMRI studies, especially if you've been exposed to head trauma. These LEDs target primarily the default mode network, which is tied to improving memory, emotional regulation, and brain performance resilience. It's also gonna have more systemic effects throughout your whole brain for improving blood flow, oxygen delivery, and lymphatic clearance, which have all been shown to slow cognitive decline and support recovery after concussion. I recently went to a clinic to get gold standard quantitative EEG measured before and after stimulation with the V-Light Duo 4 at gamma 40 hertz. And you can see a clear increase in beta activity between the two hemispheres of my brain when compared to sham treatment. Subjectively, I would say that the Duo 4 feels different from the MIP, especially in the alpha range. I'd say there was a more dramatic calming effect in the alpha setting than what I noticed with the MIP. Especially when I'm meditating, I feel like it has a stronger base effect for me to ground myself as I'm starting out a meditation session. I've seen success with people using the alpha setting for winding down for sleep or using gamma to encourage focused work sessions. In my opinion, the NeuroDuo 4 is for people that want to feel a little bit more balanced because you do have that stronger alpha effect which can help you wind down at night and get better sleep. And for people that have concerns of family history of dementia or developing mild cognitive impairment or have a history of concussion or TBI. Another group would be people that are dealing with anxiety and are trying to develop a meditation practice. You can use that in combination with that meditation routine to help control your fight or flight response. And it provides you that full head coverage, which is what I would recommend for brain health longevity without the complexity of the NeuroPro 2. Now this model still costs $2,400, which is definitely on the high end of things as far as wearables go, but I would encourage you to see it as an investment for your overall brain health and longevity and with it being easier to use than the higher end models, this is definitely what I would go for if you're not using it with a coach.